Yeah, that's Evie. And I'm going to share some tips on how to make it look good. So these are some render settings that you want to change. Increase the sample count a little so you get softer shadows. Also turn on ambient occlusion. Loom is optional. I personally like it. Turn on screen space reflections and refraction if you're using glass or any translucent materials. In the shadows tab, check high bit depth and also double the cube and cascade sizes. As an easy to understand example, I made this box with sort of a window. There were no lights, so I added a sunlight. In Eevee, make sure to turn on contact shadows in the shadows tab of your light that will get rid of light bleeding through meshes. I also increased the strength and gave it a soft sunlight color. As I rotate the light around, you can see it reaching the inside of the box. However, there's no light bouncing anywhere, which is something Cycle just does out of the box being a path tracer. If I change the world color to black, you can see the difference even more clearly. Notice how outside of the illuminated area, everything else is just pitch black. But we can get that light bounce in EV2, and it just takes a few steps. First, add an irradiance volume and scale it up to match the geometry you want. And then in this green tab, you can increase the resolution of the volume, which makes it look better and more accurate but also increases the baking time. Not the render time though, just the baking time. You can see nothing's changed yet, so all you need to do is go back in the render settings and under indirect lighting, and you can see here's the baking button. But you can change some settings beforehand if you want to as well, like number of times the light will bounce in there. Again, the more the better it looks, but baking will take longer. Just wait until the baking is done and I'll notice how the light properly floods the box and it just looks so much better. If I delete the bake, you can see the huge difference it makes. Bear in mind that if you move your lights, you'll have to bake again like I'm doing here. So for my final scene, which is actually a scene for a short film I'm making, 100% in Eevee. Those scenes at the beginning of the video are from my film as well. I made this sort of post-apocalyptic apartment building laundry, and then I textured the room and added some props to compose the scene as well. I used this spotlight as my sunlight because I wanted some more fine control over it. And again, as you can see, everything else is pitch black. So I added an irradiance volume and made it twice as big because I was going to duplicate the room later. And as far as settings go, I increased the cube map and diffuse occlusion sizes and clicked bake. It took me around 10 minutes to complete the baking, but once it's done, it's done. And now the room feels much more natural. I also added volumetrics to shape the light a little bit better. And here's another tip, just cheat. <laughs> I added a big area light to have this nice light fall off on the edge, on the sides of the dunes here. And after a while of tweaking the models and the materials, adding more and more stuff to it, as well as an animated character, which is the film's protagonist, by the way. I also added this camera movement, a simple push in, and then I hit render. And just a few minutes later, we get this. I'm posting a trailer for the film later this week, so subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll also keep posting tutorials and behind the scenes for the film. Thanks for watching.